Hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Golini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Love answering your questions. I get tons. If you've got a question that you'd like me to answer, if you're on a variety of sites that you're watching this, you should be able to find a link to Ask the Scientist. If not, send me an email, and I'd love to answer your question. Anyway, Roman from Facebook writes, Dr. Jeff, what do you think of all these companies putting DMAA in their stuff? Now, DMAA is the dimethyl-3, um, the drug. First of all, what do I think about these companies? They should all be put out of business, we should quit supporting them, and they should be thrown in jail. This is a drug. Even before the FDA classified it as a drug, these companies knew that the little loophole in the FDA, in the Canadian, in the European, is that they bring in new things and it takes the governments a while to catch up with classifying those as a drug. They've got to go through the whole bureaucratic process to make it legal. So in the meantime, these companies for several years were putting drugs in your products we were having heart attacks, all type of issues, high blood pressure. Then all of a sudden, you know, FDA, Canadian, European, we ban it. And these guys made millions and millions of dollars. You know, if we wanted drugs, we would go to a doctor and get prescribed a drug. We are buying a dietary supplement because we're looking for alternatives to drugs. Now, there has been some companies and I won't mention any names. If you'd like the names of them, send me an email and I'll surely show you the guys that cheated, got caught. Their owners should be in jail now or they're going through the process. They're chemists, they're formulators, they're purchased. And they ought to throw them away and get rid of the key. Because again, these guys are crooks. You know, what would happen if a drug dealer would put cocaine in your kid's school lunch to make them more alert? we would have a tizzy, we would execute them. Well, why is that any different than these drug dealers putting a drug in our dietary supplements and trying to pawn it off as something natural? No difference. So anyhow, what I think of them, they're crooks. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of uh, good companies out there. Um, obviously, EFX Sports, All-American Pharmaceutical, drug-free, one of the few facilities and brands in the world that have all the drug-free certifications. But at the end of the day, what these jokers do is they give our industry a bad image. There's a few manufacturers that are making the majority of all these brands' products. So again, my recommendation is quit supporting them. If they cheat on one product, I can guarantee you they cheat on the whole line of products. So quit supporting them, quit buying their products, and that's how we get rid of them. Anyway, I hope that answers your question, Roman, and I've given you my opinion. So take care, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.